You guys ready for this? There's a big Bertha coming out here. I am a shrivelly old green man. I didn't expect that to be so squishy. Ew! Hey guys, so quick intro here. I was supposed to post a DIY video for this week, a holiday, Christmas, um, inspired DIY and pretty much my DIYs failed so instead I thought I would do an easy video that I think you guys would like I really need to clean out my fridge like bad and so I thought that I would just do a fridge cleaning video because my last video I posted that was a cleaning video people really liked it I'm actually gonna clean my fridge tomorrow but I was all done up for meetings so I thought I would film an intro so hopefully you enjoy Hey you guys, so here's a look in my fridge. Right now it is packed and extremely unorganized. Like a lot of this stuff in here is probably expired. I have quite a few leftovers in here, which honestly, a lot of the time I'm a lot better about that, but I've just kind of slacked because I knew my, my fridge was bad and I knew I was gonna be cleaning it, so I just kind of slacked and it's bad. So I'm gonna start by just working shelf by shelf, take everything off, clean the shelf, and then throw away anything that doesn't need to be here. Okay, shelf one. And please excuse my appearance through all of this. I was not about to put makeup on or do my hair to clean my fridge, so you get to see me in my natural state. And I'm wearing a scarf because it is freezing in my house. I knew I had capers. I just bought some and I knew I had some. That's what happens when your fridge is too full. Just in case you guys are wondering, I'm just washing my shelves with just a little soap wand, with just soap and hot water, and then just drying it with a towel. Okay guys, here's what I'm keeping. Ben's beers, chocolate syrup, Frank's red hot sauce, which I'm going to try to move to the condiments on the door if there's room. Uh, ginger ale, creamer, buttermilk, milk, and of course our watercraft. Here's what I'm getting rid of from shelf one. Um, capers, three jars of pasta sauce. I'm terrible about opening sauce and then forgetting about it. Homemade Caesar dressing, which is honestly so old I'm just throwing the whole jar away. Chicken broth, because that's pretty much empty. The salsa, which doesn't expire for another month, but it's been open a long time, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. And I think that's French bread. Shelf one, clean. Here's the finished shelf one for now. Uh, so there it is. Okay, now for shelf two. As you can see, this shelf is so full, so let's get going. God, there's an open thing of hummus in here that is so dried out and gross. <laughs> Ew. Are you guys ready for this? There's a big Bertha coming out here. Big, big Bertha, which is, oh my God, it is, it's stuck to the shelf. Like I can't get it out. <laughs> this has been in here. Oh my God, I can't get it out. This is bad. Okay. Ugh. Okay, you guys, this is really bad. I have this pickle jar in here, which is a big pickle jar. And Ben and I just, we just, I was going through a pickle phase and I, we just never ate them. And honestly, they're old. They've been needing to be thrown away for probably a year. Honestly, they're so old. But because it's so big, we never threw it away and it's completely stuck to the shelf right now. I don't know how to get it out. So I'll be back in like a while. Hey you guys, this shelf is more embarrassing. I don't know why I'm showing you guys all of my dirty, nasty, old stuff, but like, let's be honest, you know your fridges looked like this at some point. So here's what I'm keeping, a big bag of cheese, which is really good, Parmesan cheese, 
lunch meat and cheese for sandwiches, new tub of yogurt, new pickles that are not expired, relish, which I'm going to try to fit in the condiments after I do those, and peanut butter. What I'm getting rid of is a salad dressing, which I literally just bought, so it annoys me that it already expired. Some old bread, because I have some newer bread. Unfortunately, since Ben is the only one who eats regular bread, we often just cannot get through the whole thing before it starts to go bad. Um, simple syrups for drinks, uh, which have been in there so long that, again, I'm just throwing away the jars because they're like 60 cents. Miscellaneous cheeses, which have just gotten kind of lost in the back. Throwing away this, which is always chicken broth because it's pretty much out. Throwing out this yogurt, which is almost out but expired. And then a peanut butter, which is also pretty much out. I have a new one. And then I have some leftovers, which that, that's gonna get washed. I should also mention I threw away the crusty hummus and a very rotten avocado. All right, moving along to the next shelf. Another one that is pretty darn chock full. That, my friends, is a gross and dirty shelf. That's disgusting. I'm ashamed of myself. Mom, I'm sorry, you taught me better. I'm ashamed. This shelf we are keeping cheese, cheese, and more cheese. Bread, tahini, cucumber, and Benner's Naked Juices. Getting rid of, unfortunately, these green beans, which we bought at Costco and just could not eat all of them in time before they went bad. Tortillas. Look at that, more jarred items, salsa, more leftovers, more jarred items, some cheese, didn't keep all the cheese, and this pineapple juice, which is expired. Look at that shriveled little green bean. I'm a shrivelly old green bean. I got left in the fridge for too long. I'm all wrinkled. All right, things are getting weird. Oh God, ew. I didn't expect that to be so squishy. Ew! <laughs> Ew! Ew! Oh, I didn't like that. I did not like that. Ugh. That was really squishy. This one wasn't as bad. I'm keeping these grapefruit cups, kiwi, eggs, and water. Oh, and Pellegrino. Getting rid of some old grapes, the last of the leftovers, the squishy bell pepper, um, some herbs, and some old ham. Uh-oh. Now we're on to the produce drawer, which honestly, you guys, I'm asking in advance for not to judge me because I know there's gonna be a lot of expired stuff in there and a lot of wasted food. So just don't judge me. All right, guys, as suspected, I'm not keeping much. I'm just keeping a cucumber and a beet. Getting rid of some lettuce, some carrots, and a couple other beets and a half a cucumber. So I'm actually gonna skip the last drawer until the end because that's the meat drawer and just in case there's any like meat juices, I would just rather do that one at the end. So we're gonna move on to the door. So to clean in the shelves, I'm using a Clorox wipe, which I know some people might be like, oh, you shouldn't do that on a food product, but like, I'm fine with doing it in these shelves because one, they don't remove, and two, everything that goes in these shelves is a, like a sealed, totally sealed container. So I put a few expired items on this one. I'm keeping mustard, mayonnaise, dressing, those new capers I bought, poison sauce, and ketchup. Getting rid of, because they are expiring or expired, rice vinegar, this other teriyaki kind of sauce, a dressing, and another teriyaki sauce. learned from all of this is that check your condiment expiration dates because some of these things are expiring way more quickly than I thought they would and I would have just left them in my fridge and kept using them and that's pretty gross so I'm keeping um, mustard balsamic vinegar jelly a brand new sweet chili sauce balsamic glaze pepperoncini sambal oil like I literally don't know how to say that and hot chili oil getting rid of salad dressing, soy sauce, and maple syrup. We're also keeping Taco Bell sauce, because Ben likes them. Keeping 
Cream cocktail sauce, tamari, brand new sesame oil, barbecue sauce, mustard, and sriracha. Getting rid of a sesame oil, which another one I did not even know expired. I just used this. Uh, Kalamata olives, which say they're good to, until 2019, but uh, the jar looks really disgusting, so I'm throwing it away. And these, which Ben does not like. And the last shelf is just tea and champagne which we're definitely keeping, so I'm just gonna wipe that out and then put those back. Last but not least, the meat drawer. And just so you know, this stain right here is not something gross. It's a rust stain, which doesn't really come off, I don't think, so just so you know. Oh, there's a very rotten beet in there. These are going straight in the trash because they're very rotten. And the only thing going back in this drawer is bacon. Okay, so they're all clean. I'm just gonna give the sides and stuff a wipe down and then do some reorganizing and I will show you the finished product. This is seriously so much better. So I have, you know, our morning kind of drinks and then beer. Beer's not a morning drink. Um, kind of lunch, sandwich, cheese, stuff, drinks. And then miscellaneous, so fruit cups, yogurt, and eggs. I was able to fit all of my condiments now over here. And honestly, it looks so much better. If you learn anything from this video, it's that clidge, clidge, clean your fridge more often. Because honestly, I wasted so much food. And it's because the fridge was so full and things just got pushed to the back. And they just got lost so now I need to go to the grocery store stock up on some stuff um, but I feel much better about this being done if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see something similar done with my freezer let me know I'd love to do it because let's take a peek it's pretty bad let's also take a peek at our Christmas card which is on our fridge look at that uh, yeah so but let me know if you'd like to see a freezer clean out thumbs up this video if you like cleaning videos in general because I like making them because it makes me do it and I also find them really motivating so give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye